Okay, let's continue on now with the 3D Connection Device Support demonstration within 3D Coat. And I'm going to provide a sample in the box of sculpting room as well as the re topology room. Before I do that, I want to point out that on some of the upper tier models, you don't have to worry about your hand having to constantly move back and forth between the keyboard and your device because the buttons on these devices are already mapped to many of your command keys and allows you a lot of customization as well. So uh, for example, you have your different view keys, they're contoured so you can feel them without having to look away from your monitor. You have your command keys here as well, uh, your control, alt, shift, and escape. You can cycle between the saved sets and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. You can toggle on your panel and this is where you will set your buttons uh, to your designated hotkeys. So what um, you may want to do is, let's say for example on the space pilot you have six programmable keys. Well you can assign a set to any combination of these keys. So for example I could save one set as modeling one and assign whatever buttons I want, whatever hotkeys I would like. You can click on them and assign here, create new ones, new, edit, and so on. Once you have the buttons arranged as you like, you can save that as a set. Okay, and you can also toggle here between them or again here on your device. Okay, as you can see on the LCD, you have the name of your set and you have the different assignments. And what I want to do is go ahead and start sculpting uh, and show one of the benefits here. I'm going to switch to surface mode and let's try maybe extrude. And so as you're building up proportions, you can, while you're working, actually navigate to different angles to see whether or not you have enough volume or if you have too much. Okay, let's say for example I'm going to hit uh, one button so I can reach the tool panel. Select move and what I can do is grab an area and I can actually move while it's still grabbed, while it's still selected and actually move it into place if I want. Okay. I'll switch to smooth. And I can see from multiple vantage points, multiple angles while I'm actually working on it. Okay. I'm going to switch to the build up tool. Maybe work on the jaw a little bit. And so you can see how that works. Once you have one of these devices, you really do not want to have to go back to the old way of working. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the retopo room. And um, I'm going to go to points and faces here and point out the old school way, let's say for example, if I put some points and faces here, I have to stop at some point, navigate, and move back to where my cursor was. Okay, now with a device, I can just keep moving while I'm actually laying points down. So this is extremely helpful. Okay, very soft and fluid if I want. Okay, so you can see how this works, and I uh, hope you get a chance to take it for a spin. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the 3D Connection Device Support in 3D Code.